In this video, we are going to talk about mappings. So we will be saying things like, how do you map this figure onto itself? That means, what transformation could you do to this square that would leave it looking exactly the same? So uh, when you're talking about reflections that will map a shape back onto itself, you're really talking about lines of symmetry. So look for some lines that will split this image right down the middle. So let's see. So for example, you might notice that this is a line of symmetry right here. All right, it's a reflection line. So notice that if I reflected over this line, it looks the same above and below. The top half is the mirror image of the bottom half. So I need you to remember that horizontal lines have equations of the form y equals something. So this is the line y equals 1. So if we reflect across the line y equals 1, um, that will map the figure onto itself. So we should circle that. All right, that will map the figure back onto itself. Well, let's do another one. Similarly, we can do another line of symmetry vertically. Can you see that this line splits the square exactly in half? And now the left side is the mirror image of the right side. When you have a vertical line, uh, vertical lines are of the form x equals something. So this is the line x equals 1. So if you reflect across the line x equals 1, that will map the figure back onto itself. Now, what about the x-axis and the y-axis? Well, let's look at the x-axis first. Here's the x-axis, obviously. Does that split the square right down the middle? Are these sides uh, mirror images of each other? No. There's much more square above, and there's much less below. So that means the x-axis, um, reflecting over the x-axis, will not map the figure back onto itself. Same problem with the y-axis right here. This image is not the same on the left and the right. So the y-axis, we will not circle that. Now, what about the line y equals x? The line y equals x is a diagonal line that goes uphill like this. Does that split the image exactly down the middle? Actually, it does. See how it passes through the corners of the square? If I were to fold the square in half, the one side would fall right on top of the other side. So they are mirror images of each other over this line. So the line uh, y equals x, if we reflect over that line, it will map the figure back onto itself. Now, what about the line y equals negative x? All right, that's also a diagonal line, but it's a diagonal line that goes downhill from left to right. Hmm, does this line split the square right down the middle? No. The middle of the square would be more over here. Um, so you can see that this part of the square, um, there's a lot more of it on this side of the line than this side of the line. So these are not mirror images of each other, so we will not circle that one. Okay, let's do that again. All right, same idea, just a different shape. Um, let's start by identifying the ones that are obvious. Um, all right, how about this line? Can you see that this line splits the rectangle right down the middle? So the left side and the right side are mirror images of each other. 
So yes, if I reflect over this line, it will map the figure onto itself. This is, of course, the y-axis. Um, and so where is that? Reflecting across the y-axis, we will definitely circle that. All right, let's go again. Is there a horizontal um, reflection line? It seems to be here. All right, uh, if I draw that line, it's I see four units above and four units below. So horizontal lines like this one are always of the form y equals something. So this is y equals one. Um, so if we reflect across the line y equals one, that will map the rectangle onto itself. Okay. Now, be careful. Some students think that this diagonal line, like right here, whatever it is, um, some students think that that would be a mirror image, a reflection line. But it's not. So you have to understand that if I were to, uh, say, take this side and reflect it across, um, it's going to look more like this. I'm just estimating, but it's going to look it's going to look something more like that. OK, so the reflection of this side uh, will not match the other side. So the diagonal lines are not going to be lines of symmetry. Um, what about the x-axis? The x-axis is right here. Notice that uh, more of the rectangle is above the x-axis. There's less of it below. So this is not a, a line of symmetry. So I'm not going to circle that. Okay, the line x equals 1 is a vertical line at 1. This is the line x equals 1. Does this split the rectangle down the middle? No. There's more rectangle on the left. There's less on the right. So we won't circle that. And we already talked about the fact that the diagonal lines won't work. Um, so if I look at the line y equals x, which looks like this, Uh, these are just not mirror images of each other, all right? They don't look the same on both sides of the line. Um, so we, we will not circle that. And downhill is just as bad. It does not look like, look like the same on uh, both sides. All right, suddenly I've lost my ability to speak. But these are the only two that we are going to circle. So that brings us to... Um, number seven. Okay, let's see if we can find our own lines of symmetry first. So it looks like we have a vertical line of symmetry right here. This splits the diamond or rhombus right down the middle. Vertical lines are of the form x equals something. So this is the line x equals 2. So you know what? They don't actually mention x equals 2, but that would have been a good answer. But there's nothing for me to circle, so I'll move on. What about horizontal lines of symmetry? All right, I see a horizontal line of symmetry right here. This horizontal line splits the image right through the center. Horizontal lines are of the form y equals something. So this is the line y equals 2. So a reflection across the line y equals 2 will map the shape onto itself. OK, um, let's talk diagonal lines.
All right, what about the line y equals x? Does this split the image right down the middle? Interestingly enough, um, I think that it does. On the left side, we have this little tiny rectangle. And on the right side, we have this little skinny rectangle. These are mirror images of each other. So that is the line y equals x. This diagonal line is the line y equals x. So reflecting across the line y equals x will map the figure onto itself. Um, how about the line y equals negative x? This is the line y equals negative x. All right, a diagonal line through the center of the graph. All right, downward sloping. This line doesn't even touch the image. So it is definitely not a line of symmetry. So we will not circle y equals the opposite of x. Okay, um, so I think these are the only answers. Let's look at a couple other things. For example, the x-axis is right here. The x-axis does not pass through the center of the shape, so that's not a, a line of symmetry. What about the y-axis? Same thing. This does not pass through the center of the figure. It is not a line of symmetry. All right, the line x equals 1. That is a vertical line. x equals something is a vertical line. So this is the line x equals 1. It does pass through the shape, but it doesn't go through the middle. So that's not going to be a line of symmetry either. Okay, number eight. Use the blanks to describe two transformations that would map the figure onto itself. Okay, um, so they say reflect across the line x equals. x equals, remember, is a vertical line. All right, this is going to be vertical. So let's draw a vertical line of symmetry. All right, it seems to be right here. All right, if I draw this vertical line, the rectangle goes three units to the right and three units to the left. Um, so this is the line x equals two. Now, y equals something is going to be a horizontal line. All right, I need you to memorize that. Y equals something is a horizontal line. So let's draw a horizontal line of symmetry. So is it here? If I draw this line, I have uh, four units below <clears throat> and, and four units above. So that is the horizontal line of symmetry. So this is at negative 1. So this will be y equals negative 1. All right, and that is the end.